from Collector Magazine, okay. have a seat, and um, so I was wondering, um, how long have you been uh, doing this? Uh, three months. <laughs> and what were you doing before that? Um, I was working at a rehab. At, at a rehab? Yeah. We owe you a counselor? Um, partly. I was mostly a professional ball cradler. A professional what? Ball cradler. Ball cradler. <laughs> and what is the... What is... See, I used to a be a... celebrity ball cradler, a basically. So There's a lot of... I did a sober companion work, which is basically a paid conscience. A paid conscience? Yeah. Wow. Uh, it gets so what, what does a, a paid conscience do? You help... We talk to these kids about sobriety, talk to them about, you know, what it's like to be newly sober. How are you... Are you writing this down? Or are you... I'm taping it. You're taping me? Yeah. Oh, wow. Tape everything. Um, well, that's pretty... See, I, I used to be a counselor. Not the guy still am. Yeah. And uh, here's my... Uh, my car. Well, it's a, I continue to do that. Yeah, I, I mentor people uh, all the time. I used to be a counselor 40 years ago and I've never stopped. Mm. And so um, you were doing that uh, yeah, kind of I mean, work? Yeah, everything from, you know, laundry to uh, everything. Um, was, was, to was reminding them to take their medication, to logging their meds, to, you know, sometimes just being a watchdog to make sure they didn't get high, uh -huh. to, you know, taking them to and from appointments, making sure they were on time for everything, you know. So what was the most difficult part of that? Being with them 24 hours a day was difficult. The money was really good, before you but the, uh... Yeah. So you you weren't you weren't it wasn't evil for easy for you to get off of the premises, so you had to be there a lot of the time. Um, I had to I had to be with them all the time because it was easy for them to get high if I went away. Uh -huh. um, but I uh, yeah it was a it was a, it was a rough job you know it's it's hard you're bearing the brunt of a lot of. A lot of people, you know, a lot of uh, early sobriety, which is a really interesting time. It's hard to be around. I like, I like working with the clients. I found it a lot more personally rewarding than working with the, with the, um, with the staff. The staff was much more difficult. You know, it started out as a really cool place to work with a lot of, you know, people that still really wanted to help. And then they, like, realized how much money could be made in the sobriety industry, and it really left a bad day. I, uh, I decided I wasn't going to do that anymore, and I was going to do stuff that I like doing. And so now you're involved in the antique business. Yeah, yeah, I and, like old stuff. And uh, how did how did you make this transition? How did you happen to uh, come to work for Mr. Phelps? I wandered into his warehouse one day. So you wandered into his Oakland warehouse? Yeah, I wandered into his Oakland warehouse. I had, um, my boyfriend and I had started losing weight. We were both so, you know, we were just broke completely broke, and I wandered in, and, um, so how, when you were losing weight, how, how light did you get? Um, you know, we just both lost a couple of pounds, we were just having to tighten our belts a little bit, so, um, we were both, how are we going to make money, what are we going to do, shit, you know, because neither of us were really getting hired, um, and that's, that's kind of so, frustrating. I imagine so. And so then you walked into his uh, warehouse. I walked into one of his, um, one of his uh, open houses. Uh-huh. The, the first time. Yeah. Like, that'll be tonight, I guess. Is yeah, they're doing it tonight, just last night. And I believe tomorrow night as well. Um, and I came in, and I found this old guy in the back selling jewelry. And uh, he had a couple of really cool old lapis. Um, pieces from Afghanistan, which is interesting stuff, but I had some, I had a couple of pieces that I thought were cooler, and that maybe he'd want to take a look at them, and did I he? collect jewelry and I make stuff, and I'm, just, I'm I guess an artist for most of my life. Well, no, I guess, yeah, I would assume you are, if you like doing that. So, I, uh... Well, what about what you're wearing now? Did you make what you're wearing? Um, did I make anything I'm wearing today? I didn't make anything, I made this necklace over here. Oh, let's see it. Ah, well look at that. And how did you um, get the um, the motivation to originally start making jewelry when you started? Now, can I get a shot of you right now?